Hi, Clark here. Just wanted to do a quick video. If you're thinking about changing your standard clutch cable to a hydraulic system, uh, the Magura system, I've been using it for a while, really enjoy it. It's so much nicer, uh, easier to pull, and I normally break probably a cable a season because of the hard clutch on the, on the KX500s. So uh, I just want to show you a little installation trick if you've got things apart because this thing is, is uh, kind of fragile by nature. So when you get the Magura system, it uh, comes with a clutch lever. And for me, the one it came with was way too long. It wouldn't clear my, uh, my Cherby's uh, bark busters and stuff. So I had to get a, a shorter lever. And then, of course, it comes with um, a master cylinder on here. And I've got this thing upside down. So, um, and then basically, instead of having a clutch cable, you've got a, a small tube, very small inside diameter, that you're pushing fluid through. So on the other end, on the engine here, you've got a, a reservoir with a rod in here. And the issue that you've got with this system is in a standard clutch cable, you've got adjusters, you can loosen them up, you can get yourselves all kinds of slack so you can put the end of the cable into your clutch arm and then go ahead and anchor that, uh, that metal bent piece that, that sits in here. On this system, you've basically got a limited amount of pull uh, and it's all sealed up with, with the hydraulic fluid. So there's no way to make this rod longer than it is. So the trick is trying to get the arm moved up all the way so that you can slide your uh, rod through that little, little cut in the case there so you can drop the system in behind there to, to hold things in. So uh, since I'm doing a teardown right now, I came up with this thought that since if I leave the pressure plate nice and loose here, that allows me then to move this by hand. Okay, so what I did is I took the actuation arm out, you turn it around over here, lift it out, put your cable in, get it all set up, drop it in, move it around, and then I can just push this in and uh, put it in place. Since I'm doing this by myself, I can't show you with two hands. But anyway, that's a far easier way of trying to get this thing in so you don't damage it. If you bend the rod, it's not going to slide into the cylinder and now you're, you're messed up. And this is a pretty pricey conversion, but uh, well worth it. And for those of you wondering what this yellow wire is, I just put a lighting coil in here. So no worries there. Okay, just wanted to show you that. It's a, it's a slick way to do it if you've got things apart, at least got the, uh, the side cover off.